from the stream, Twitch, YouTube community. Everybody, the play with the people. <laughs> so, today's tutorial, we're going to be tackling the El Chevalier from Super Robot Wars W. So, a quick heads up, what does it look like? Uzi. We're speaking about... Joshua Radcliffe's unit. Uh, from memory, by the way, I'm saying W, but could be something else entirely, and I could be wrong. I am not nearly as knowledgeable as what I wish I was. Still, this is the man, and this is who I did to copy real quick. So, from start to zero, let's go. Also, fast disclaimer. I'm going to be using three DLC parts from which there are derivative non-DLC parts you can use. For the actually fin or actually I don't know what it is, Waybinder in the back of the head, I'm going to be using the Oscillating Bean Saber on the head. If you don't have it, Waybinder does the job just fine. You can actually get it on the body or the backpack, both will work you out of trouble. For the legs, he has this uh, spare weapon he likes to use. It's both a machine gun rifle and an actual beam saber. We're going to be using the Gen Fan Rack to mimic their shape. So, yeah. I'm going to try to be accurate. If you don't have those but still want something there to do, well, to be there, I could suggest the Freedoms Rail Cannon. On both like of course, the placement number one on top of my head, I could be wrong on that, don't quote me. So, with those little modifications out of the way, what do we have for show? Well, you'll see. Uh, is there any other disclaimer I should think of? And nope. Oh yeah, fast, uh, fast one. Music you're going to be hearing for the whole of this stream comes from Stone Mac Knuckle. A chill dude and a chill artist I am, well, I'd like to say I've met. I have had the honor to talk to you on Skype, on YouTube. Really, give the guy some support. He does some majestic work. So with all those that, with all those disclaimers and stuff said, let's get to the building, guys. So real quick, we are gonna need a bunch of high grade parts, starting with your belly. That's also gonna be your uh, right weapon, right? Due to how the unit works. So we're gonna be using a weapon. GN Sword 3 High Grade. You, you do have the right to put it Master Grade Wood Fit. However, for the sake of being, uh, for making it easy for you guys to scale up, I'm going to be using the High Grades. So, High Grade Gen Sword 3. We're going to be using that as, your, as our range of weaponry as well. Boom. For the head, we're going to be using a High Grade Jagan. For the body, we're going to be using a High Grade Gundam Axe. Oh, is it happy? Have it. Uh, we're gonna be using that one. All right. Now, following that, we're gonna be moving quickly with a stargazer high grade once again for the water. So high grade does so. Likewise, we're gonna be using over here the jewel Essel shroud high grade. Backpack. Uh, it's F91. F91 is the best I could find, guys. Try as I might to get you the sweet stuff. You would need to be 100% accurate in cylinder, going from both shoulder to shoulder. I. There's no unit that has that. The closest thing you would have would be a Gira Doga. And if I have one lying around here, the Gira the Gira Doga. That's the closest we can find as, as far as cylinders goes. And as you can see, it's not one, it's two of them. So, they're... I'm gonna be defaulting to the F91, which is not bad looking, but it's not as... It's not nearly as accurate as what I wish it was. So, that's why I put a little disclaimer on it. I failed, y'all. <laughs> F91. So we're going to be using a master grade for that one, or at least I will. This leads up to the shield. Uh, the shield to this guy sort of gave me problems at the start, but then I realized, well, a friend of mine actually made me realize. Props for Trump. God damn! 
props to Oryx for that one guys, the Mega Beam Shield from the B2 Buster. Speaking of the Mega... Uh, speaking of that shield, let's make it fit real quick. It's not gonna take us much time. So, the metrics for the shield to be alright, we're gonna need to read well. Let's reset everything first. So the shield is gonna have a minus 92 on X. I do believe everything else is gonna be neutral, but the rotation at V, which is at 30, and then we're gonna upscale that thing to 11. Well, I think to 11. 253. And there we go. Now let's move on to the actual building slide. We're gonna start big with the boat legs first emplacement, GM Fang Rack. Right arm, leg, boat leg, and we want G, G and fat rack, bingo. So for the actual metrics, just give me a moment my dudes, I need to get myself ready. Uh, positioning, X75. So, done so. Y and Z are neutral, rotation is at 12. We're going to be moving ourselves to see at 19. We've got the first place to adjust that stress worthy, and then we downscale the hell out of it to minus 182. And boom! We have ourselves the leg piece armor that we usually do on our guy. For reference, there you go. Now there's weight coming out. Ah. Bear with me, I guess. We're going to be coloring them so they don't show as much, but... Well, yeah. It moves and it looks great, though. Trust me, that one. It looks great on moving. <laughs> that is the actual utility of the part. Damn. Sweet. You may think somebody that you're locked on starts the whole time. It's borderline broken, I think about it. Yeah. Moving on. So. Jet fan is done. Where's it go? Ooh, wow. We're now going to move to the added, uh, Hori has yet as white. Those are going to be the slash disc that you're going to get from the Kimaris DLC. So, real quick, body, bolt arm, we're going to go to slash this. I have yet to try over the game, so, <laughs> bear with me. X95. So, 95X, duly noted. Y minus 161. Well, I went overboard. Play the song. Z202. Well, over there. Too too big though. Rotation. By, oh, no positive. 197. I know it looks like a pair of tits. Bear with me, guys. Don't get fixed pretty soon. Alright. Uh, rotation remains neutral to Y and 60 to Z before we go to the downscale. Alright guys, there's only one way out of this pass is to downscale those kids to minus 225. There we go. That's as close I can get to the problem. I can't get the black bits to the white man. So, for the final part, we're going to be going to put the auxiliary beam saver on the head. Following measurements shall apply, my dudes. X95, once again. Uh, I know I took it all with that one. So, minus six, minus six of set. Sorry about that. 143 to minus once again. Moving to rotation, give yourself a 10 on X, and you're done. No need to rescale that one, that's how it goes. And there you go, you still have two slugs if you want to customize it further, give it a little bit more. So, to be fair, it's not all that bad already. You need to equip the slugs, you have VSDR, which stuns are going to be for good dosage. Clash this seems to be the kind of weapon that will stun on a hit, not bad. Oh, uh, Jim Panorak takes the deal for a stun, it's going to be considered never tried. Chance Vulcan and Vulcan Pond can be used as these valley diffuse for death, even though it's free out of DPS, it's not as bad as what it's sound at first. So, with all that done, I'm going to go out to set up. Load a unit that's already painted so that I can actually show the color faster and show you how it's painted. 
So, those are the signs. Your dad's gonna shoot my dirty mother over there. Hell, Chevalier. Look. I got the little portal. Yes, that's not good look. So, you have four color for this guy. Now, a quick thing, you can change, well, change set already. You're gonna go to caution mark, all that. And you want to get to the fourth row, one, two, three, four, and the fourth orange. Set everything to that color for the uh, coffee part. Say go through your building part if you can see the color right there. Boom. So, now for the fourth color you're going to be using on a daily basis, and something just went down here. Uh, yep, here goes the mouse. Dirt. Uh, so, the fourth color you're going to be needing. You're going to be needing a dark blue with 28 brightness. I'm going to get you for a close up thing before I don't win. But 28 brightness, 17 red, 9 green, and you want 71 blue. That's going to be your dark blue. You will want a white of 94 brightness and 238 everywhere. We're going to be using that for the torso glowing part, by the way. I know it's glowing, it might not look all that great. Oops, I just got goofed. No, I did not goofed. Alright. I know it's gonna shine like that in the dark as well. Yes. You know, now I think about it, maybe you could use a builder spar to make that, but it is what it is. This is the the compromise I had to make to be truthful to the unit. So we're gonna be whoops, wrong part again. The other color we're going to need is a baggy orange that's going to be applied to the fit mainly, on the leg and on the body. That orange goes from 100 brightness, 255 red, 152 green, and 9 blue. Lastly, we're going to be using yourself a pure black of zero proportion, complete lack of color, nothing. The great dankness. <laughs> so. With those four colors in your inventory, by the way, you can save a color you've made by pressing triangle. I guess I should have told you that ahead of time. If you press triangle, you can actually save the color somewhere that just quickly default to them. Like if I wanted something to be on my chest. Uh, is it my chest? Let's say I wanted my ch change my chest color to orange, I would just, boom, orange. I saved that one so it can be used. So let's invent them close. We're gonna move in order, weapon. Blue white blue and i am using a dark blue from the second row third selection this is going to change the uh blade color by the way for those wondering so yep that's a donezo the caution mark will be once again third row for orange though i guess for the blade i would consider making it blues just so that it meshes better you're not supposed to really to have this, his weapon is. I can't. I don't really have a, we, uh, a picture of the weapon, but it's a pure blue that he just uses it and slashes people around with it. The same way you would see somebody slashing people in Halo with the uh, the energy sword. So moving ahead with the head, blue, white, 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 blue once again. The glow color is where it changes a bit. Seven rows. So three, four, five, six, seven. Third green. That's what I'm using. Then you'll want yourself for the forehead, second, third, boom, we done. As far as the uh, optional part on the back, the builder's part, uh, I'm going to down the El Chevalier picture I got over here, guys. You actually have to paint the front of it, the part facing front, blue. I didn't make it up, that's how it is. Rest is white. So, white and blue in order, done so. The body. Uh, that was actually pretty straightforward. Blue, white, white, blue, orange for the fin, black for the color. As you can see in the picture, the, the color is actually black. Uh, I can't find the first glow color for the life of me. Even if I transform, it doesn't show. So, I guess as a default, I put the black. The second glow color here is going to be the same as the body we're speaking here, 94 brightness, 238 everywhere. And that's going to set your uh, glowing torso here, and it's going to set yourself as well. The color accuracy I promised. Although it shows when you're in a deep colored area. But after that, which I would dare say 40%, 50% of the time in this game, you will be fighting with a clear sky and a clear coloring. 
So bite me. Alright. Arms. Now, the transform color you've seen is... God damn it. <laughs> Everybody, I present you the Grand Patriarch. Anyhow, moving back to the video. Glow color is set to green real quick. The unit never really glows, but... Hell, it's green most of the time when it glows. So I put green. You could put white just to hide the fact that it never glows, and it would work just as well. So, take it as you will. Otherwise, blue, white, black, blue, white, and white. With, for the disc, white, as you can see, the body armor is, well, the added armor on the shoulder is white. So, we know with that. The legs. I'm using white, blue, white, black, blue, and orange, finally, for the fins. The caution marks are still set to the perfect orange. As for the builder's part, which is the uh, GM fan rack, blue, blue, you want the little part white there to be like the blade of, well, the bladed end of that weapon. The rest can be blue as well. And if you put all that blue, you also get to match the wing to, well, you don't really get to match them, but the color fits well with the body that you can actually ignore them. The backpack. White, white, blue, black, white, and white. Once again, you don't really touch a caution mark, it's what you want. Finally, the shield. White, blue, white, white, blue, and finally black. And there you go, guys. You have a full setup. And I guess I never really showed the shield. There you go. Now you guys can actually debate me and say that they did the wrong job. But that's what I took from it. You're supposed to be able, in the game, to ram people, and then you have spikes in the same fashion of the H1 Titus coming out of the shield and you just ram the guy with it. Blam him! Hell, he even gets stuck on it from some, uh, on the shield for some attack sometimes. It's actually pretty badass. So, yeah. This, people, is the Hell Chevalier. It ended up being a well-rounded unit. I'm just disappointed that I couldn't get the chest proper. And for that, everybody, I apologize. But hopefully, the same way I did, you guys can get over that. I hope this build is going to brighten your day. Have a good time, and see y'all for the next one, which is going to be the... Uh, well, I forgot the name of the video. Flickery, guys. There we go. We did from Arier August. And following that, after Arier August, Flickery, guys, I might start to tackle some of the protagonists and antagonists too, from Z2 on the PSP and... PSP, so? No, I think it's PSP, yeah. Well, see you, dudes.